Hi, good morning. How is everyone doing? How is family? Well done. Thanks for watching my video. Bye. So today, I want to show you guys some things we use in the lab. Now, let's say flebotomy. Since we're using flebotomy, the bottles we use to take sample and some other things we used to. So thank you for watching. Here is blood collection set. We call it butterfly needle. Yeah, we use it to collect blood sample. Here is plaster. We use it to cover the side that we collected sample from. Here are the bottles we use in the lab. This is purple cup. PDTA bottle. As you can see, we do collect some samples like full block can, PCV, and mostly hematology samples inside to run tests, to run hematology tests. It's cup of cup. We insert the butterfly needle through, through the butyl rubber so that the blood will flow directly into the bottle. And also label the container with the patient details, including the date of the day. Here is another bottle, green cup, lithium heparin bottle. We normally use it to collect a um, bilirubin sample here where I work here. That is what we use it for mostly. This one is jelly tube, gel, as you can see, gel cloth activator, as you can see it's inside. We use it for chemistry test. We collect our chemistry samples inside, like lipid profile, electrolyte urea creatinine, liver function test, and so on like that for chemistry tests mainly. This is for glucose, it's glucose tube. If you want to do glucose tests like fasting blood sugar, random blood sugar, OGTT, or a glucose tolerance test, this is the bottle we use for that. We still have some other bottles too. Here is sodium citrate bottle. We use it for assessing coagulation and the clotting system. We use it to collect um, clotting profile, all these samples, the uh, test that deal with clotting profile, yeah. That is what we use it for. It contain, you can see what is inside. It contains sodium citrate, anticoagulant, yeah. So this is plain bottle, the red cover is a plain bottle. Most time what we use, it, you can see, this is serum. When we use that gold cap, that yellow cap, the one for chemistry, when we use it to collect sample, after we spin it, we put the serum inside plain bottle. As you can see, this is swab stick. This swab stick, you can see it's not it's not full yet. It's sterile. This swab stick we use it to collect sample, either wound swab, urethra swab, ear swab, nose swab, vagina swab, type of swab, some swab test, different type of swab test. So we use this to collect. We use the swab stick to collect the sample before we culture them. It's terror. It can only open when you want to use it. Here is micro slide. We use it for to view something under microscopy and the cover slit too. So like what is doing on this table in this flap, we use it that's what we use for malaria test. We prick the fish we prick 
and we drop a little drop on it. This is my swab. Is a cotton wool. I put methylated spirit to sterilize it to clean patient body before we call it sample. That is glucometer, and um, this is AquaCheck. This trip to check random blood sugar, fasting blood sugar. This is hematocrit tubes. We call it capillary tube. We use it for PCV, pack cell volume. To check patient's blood level. And we also use it to pick blood. This is called Lancet, sterile Lancet. We use it to prick the patient's finger. If the patient is doing fasting blood sugar, random blood sugar, even PCV, before we use our capillary tube to collect the blood. It is a sterile bottle for urine analysis. You can see, we label the container with the name, ID, the test that the person is doing is for urine analysis, urine culture. Yes. And this also, this one with small spoon inside is for stool. If the patient is doing stool microscopy, stool culture, and that urine and that plain container, we use it for semen analysis too. If the guest is doing SFA. Semen, seminar fluid analysis. Yes, that is what we use that one for. You can see as my table is set, you can see pencil too. I use that pencil to label glove. I have glove and sanitizer to sanitize my hand. And also for the patient too. You can see my table. The small paper I'm using to write this envelope. We when we are giving out um urine container or two container or swab, we put it inside envelope for the patient to carry so that the patient won't be holding the specimen with bare hands. The envelope will be labeled to with the name, test, and the hospital number of the patient that is doing the test. Here is sharp boss, safety boss and um does bin here's my table you can see how my table looks i arrange my table and some tests we are doing here well that was impressive um this is two block and machine a dermatology machine uh this is a major product there are different products depend on the company and the the upgrade this is used uh, for full blood count or complete blood count. What it simply does is that uh, by the time you take a sample to pass through it, you take blood to pass through it, it will bring out results showing the quantity and the quality of different parameters that are in the blood, different components of the blood. So at such a view, you are going to see the nature of the red blood cells, the white blood cells, the quantity, and then uh, even the platelets. So, okay, like in this case, now you can see that the results of this one has been displayed, where it shows the WBC count, it show you the number of the total white blood cells, and then the different components of the white blood cells. The white blood cells, these are white blood cells, you have neutrophils, you have lymphocytes, you have monocytes, you have that is both the granulocytes and the granulocytes. And then it will also show you results for the platelet count. You'll be able to know the blood level also from the HCT. And then you know the hemoglobin level also. All these are different parameters that will give a picture of the patient's clinical condition. So after doing interpretation combined with some other factors, the doctor will be able to arrive at a diagnosis or an idea of what could be wrong with the patient. Thank you. Okay, this is a hematology machine, and uh, there are different kinds of it. This one is made by MindRay, it's BC5000. Um, what this machine does basically is that it reads the different components of blood. It helps to analyze blood, use it to do blood count tests, or what we call complete blood count. 
Here, some parameters are going to be displayed after the sample is being processed. You'll be able to see the total WBC count, the different white blood cells, the red blood cells, the quality and their quantity, and then you also have an idea of the blood level, the HCC, and then there also the hemoglobin estimation. Uh, what happens is that when the results come out, the doctor is able to look at it and it gives him a picture of the clinical situation of the patient. It is a very important test for pathological studies.